This is a Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga L390, an unassuming business laptop from 2019. It has an Intel 8th gen with an unexceptional array of ports, including two USB-C, two USB-A, and HDMI. I previously had an older but perfectly sufficient Yoga 370, but I wanted a laptop that could utilize USB-C charging. As such, I bought the L390 about a year ago, used, of course, for about $200. The yoga lines have a party trick. The screen flips over to make a tablet. Lenovo actually pioneered this form factor, but many manufacturers have similar laptops now. The ThinkPad Yogas have an additional feature, a digitizer with pin input, which works in laptop or tablet mode. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks. I normally draw on a very old Cintiq HD13, which works very well. Wacom has been the leader in this space for years, and the technology should be very mature. That being said, I've owned many convertible tablet-style laptops over the years, and while the pens and digitizers have never been as good as the Cintiq, the L390 seems particularly bad. Let's draw some lines on the Wacom. I am using a 1x16 Technic Beam for the straight edge and Krita for the drawing software. These lines come out pretty clean, and I'll also add some regular squiggles on the side for reference. Let's draw the same lines on the L390 using the same tools. These lines come out not straight at all. The squiggles are a little bit better, but this is absolutely ridiculous. The older Yoga 370 also has this issue, but the L390 has it worse. These pen and digitizer setups feel very much like afterthought, and clearly not intended for any serious artwork. Sadly, this trend might go back as far as the original ThinkPad Yoga, which initially suffered from black holes in the screen, though Lenovo may have fixed that eventually. The poor stroke action isn't even my only complaint about the drawing experience, though it's by far my biggest. The included pen is very small and not particularly comfortable to use. It also has an integrated internal battery, which runs out really fast. Arguably, the pen has to fit in the chassis, and the battery might have a lot of cycles on it, but the tablets of the ThinkPad glory days all had big pens with no batteries. It's possible, but very difficult, to find other compatible pens. While evaluating an XPS 9365, but otherwise completely by chance, I found that this Dell pen worked with the L390. It has a bigger battery and a more comfortable size, but the rubber coating disintegrated really fast, and it doesn't fare any better on the drawing front. The whole situation is ultimately workable, just terrible.